Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen has built the world's largest yacht. That doesn't seem to be too unreasonable for one of the world's richest men. However, this vessel has many options that would fit in a Bond movie. It is the mothership to a 10-man submarine and the control of a seafloor exploring remote-controlled vehicle. It would not be too wise to board without an invitation because Mr. Allen has recruited a team of former U.S. Navy SEALs to provide protection and slash or the ability to conduct a serious covered action capability. All this and more exist on the octopus a 416-foot wonder of the seas that would rival a Verne novel in its scope. And yes this year's February voyage was a special trip to Antarctica. My Allen already had two super yachts. The $200 million price tag and $20 million annual budget are quite the investment. They say the meek inherit the earth, the brave will get the oceans. I should think the brave and the daring will get even more, the world perhaps that sleeps far too deeply. Octopus has permanent crew of 60, including several former Navy SEALs. It has two helicopters, seven boats, a 10-man submarine and a remote-controlled vehicle for crawling on the ocean floor. The submarine has the capacity to sleep eight for up to two weeks underwater. Details about the 416-foot boat, named Octopus, are hard to come by. Spokespeople for all the boat owners in this story declined to comment. One even asked if this was an investigation into executive compensation. Of course it isn't it's simply an unabashed celebration of maritime largesse. But according to various reports, Allen's octopus is what's called an expedition boat, it's high bow allowing for better handling in rough seas and icy waters and equipped for travel to remote places. It has two helicopter pads, where else would guests land their chopper, one on the bow and one astern. A garage near the rear deck houses a four-wheel drive vehicle, which can be transported to shore via a specialized landing craft. The submersible yes that's right, submersible which is said to be able to stay underwater for up to two weeks, launches through a hatch in the bottom of the hull. The former Navy SEALs are presumably there to fend off pirates, or just in case you run into a real-life doctor no in some forlorn corner of the South China Sea. So now we see that certain of the super-rich have their own private navies and research capabilities. How they use them are outside of the purview of nations and their intelligence agencies. Mr. Allen's latest journey to Antarctica leads one to wonder if the rumors were true. Was there really an access port to underground tunnels in Antarctica? Did Hitler and the riches of the Third Reich escape? Is the secret technology buried under the ice? Octopus is more than capable to find out. The ultra-rich are taking an initiative. We should not sleep. So what have all the wars been about? Secrets we could never ever imagine. A long time ago the theory of the world being round was all the rage. We were told by the elite rich it was flat. They did that so they could take advantage of the knowledge for their financial gain. Today the conspiracy says the earth is hollow and there are access points at the poles. The elite rich are investing heavily in the conspiracy theory. They know something they are not revealing to us. What is the payoff for such a venture? Everything and more.